Stokas mean? Mean is given by the formula that it is summation of fx over the summation of f. That means you must multiply the frequency and class mark. You get the total and you divide by the total of frequency. That will be the simple formula for mean of a group. Uh, that, uh, let us look at mod. Mod is given by the formula Lm plus D1 over D1 plus D2 times C. Lm is the lower class boundary of the model class. D1 is the difference between the highest frequency and the value of the frequency just above it. D2 is the difference between the highest frequency and the frequency just below it. So D1, you get the highest frequency, you subtract uh, the, uh, you subtract the frequency above it from the highest frequency. And D2 is the highest frequency minus the frequency just below it. C is the class width of the model class. And remember, the model class is the class with the highest or the greatest uh, frequency. Uh, what about median? Median median is given by the formula Lm plus n over 2 minus Cfb over Fm times C, where Lm is the lower class boundary of the median class. Uh, when you are looking at mod, Lm is the lower class boundary of the model class. So it depends on what you are getting at that very moment. N is the total frequency, and now N over 2 is the total frequency divided by 2. CFB is the cumulative frequency, cumulative frequency just before the median class, and FM is the frequency of the median class, C is the class wave of the median class. Likewise, just like, uh, just like the LN, C here is the class width of the median class. So it depends on also what you're getting about uh, about the C. It depends on what you're getting. What If you're getting mod, then C is the class width of the model class. If you're getting median, then it is the class width of the median class. Let us look at example number one. No one is saying that given the information in the table, I hope you can see the table, the table which, which has class uh, and frequency. The classes we have are, we have uh, the starting class is 10, 14, then the second is 15, 19, 20, 24, 25, 29, 30 to 34, 35 to 39, and 40 to 44. The corresponding frequencies, we have 5, 1, 4, 10, 3, 5, 2. That means in the class of 10 to 14, uh, we have 5. So we have 5 occurring in between 10 to 14. Then we have 1 for 15 to 19. We have 4 for 20 to 24. We have 10 for 25 to 29. We have 30 for 30 to 34. We have 5 for 35 to 39. We have 40. We have 2 for 40 to 49. So if, if this were max, if this were max, or if this was a table for max, then the max between 10 to 14 would be having five students. The max between 15 to 19 would be having one. The, the max between 20 to 24 would be having four students who have the same max in the region between 20 to 24. Then uh, if this were max, we would also be having 10 students between 25 to 29. And therefore, uh, 20, 20, 25 to 29, is our model class Y. It has the highest frequency, the frequency of 10. So the max, if this were max, then the max between 25 and 29 would be occurring 10 times. But let us go and answer our question. The question is saying that we state the class width or the class size. The class width is also known as the class size. It's also known as the class length. And it's also known as the class interval. But how can we find it? We shall find out. We also want to state the range. We want to find mean, mod, and median. Okay, let us start with A, part one. We state the class width. 
to set the class width. Simple. It is simple. Pick any class of your choice. What have you picked? Have you picked the first one? Have you picked the second? It is your choice. So let me pick uh, the first class. That is the class between 10 to 14. What you do is you start counting locally using uh, anything you can use to count from 10 to 14. So let us count. Help me count. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What have you got? They are 5. They are 5. So the class width here is 5. The second method that you can use to get the class width or the class size is that you can use their class boundaries. You pick the upper class boundary of any class minus the lower class boundary. What is the upper class boundary and what is the lower class boundary? When there is no decimal place or zero decimal place, you remove 0 0.5 from the lower class limit. You can remove 0 0.5 from here in this 10. This is 0 0.5 of the lower class boundary. Then you add 0 0.5 uh, to the upper class limit. So you remove 0 0.5 from the lower class limit and you add 0 0.5 to the upper class uh, limit. What you're getting will be the class boundary. So you do like that for all the classes. So let us pick the class 1, which has 10 to 14. Uh, when we pick the class of 10 to 14, our class with or the class size, class length, class interval will be 14.5 minus 9.5 and that will also give us 5. That will also give us 5. So you can have 14.5 minus 9.5. Remember you can use any class. Let us look at the range. The range is the highest frequency minus the lowest frequency. And when I take you to the table, uh, you will have the table there that has uh, 10 which is the highest frequency, and in that table, the lowest frequency is 1. So 10 minus 1, you get 9, and that will be your range. So let us look at the mean of the question, the mean in the question. So if you're going to get the mean, you must draw another table. So this table here is made for mean, is made to help us also get the mode as well as the median. It is the standard table that will help us get mean, mod, and median. Remember the formula for mean? Mean is summation of fx divided by summation of f. And mod, you have it, it is lm plus d1 over d1 plus d2 times c. What about median? Median is lm plus d1 uh, plus uh, n over 2 minus cfb over fm times c. So let us find the mean using this table. So when you're doing this table here, you must uh, put back the class, put back the class, then uh, you put x. x is the midpoint of the classes. So how do you get the midpoint? Get a calculator, pick the uh, calculator, and you add the classes, each of the classes, the lower class limit and the upper class limit as you divide by 2. So if I pick the first one, it will be 10 plus 14 over 2, that will give me 12. And you do like that for the rest of the classes. However, you have the alternatives here. Pick the any class if the classes are uniform. So if I pick the first class, it is uh, 10 minus uh, 10 to 14. The 10 to 14, what you do is simple to get the 12. You let us see. Simple here. It will be 14 minus 10, that will give me 4, and 4 divided by 2 is the same as 2. So you pick any class, you subtract the upper class limit minus the lower class limit and you divide by 2. You'll get a single value that you can add to all the lower class limits of the classes to get the class, to get the class mark x. So let us see, using these two, what can we do with these two to these classes? So when we add 10, remember the first one? It is 10. 
So 10 plus 2, you get 12. 15 plus 2, you get 17. 20 plus 2, you get 22. 25 plus 2, you get 27. 30 plus 2, you get 32. 35 plus 2, you get 37. 40, 40 plus 2, you get 42. That is how simple it is to get the class mark. The more the simplest is pick any class, uh, subtract them, get the difference between them, that is the upper minus the lower, to avoid the negative, then you divide by 2. The value you get, you add to all the classes, all the lower class limits, and then you get the class mark just given by symbol X. So X in statistics here will mean the class mark as seen in this table. It is the class mark. What about frequency? You also write the frequency back if they are given. Write the frequencies back in the table if they are given. So you create another column for F. Then you create another column for Fx. Fx means F multiplied by x, which is the frequency multiplied by the class mark. And when you get the calculator one by one, you'll see that 12 times 5, you get 60. 17 times 1, you get 17. 22 times 4, you get 88. 27 times 10, it is 270. 32 times 3, you get 96. 37 times 5, you get 80. And finally, 42 times 2, you get 84. Also pick a calculator and get the total. Remember, the formula for mean is summation of fx divided by the summation of f. So you get a calculator and you get the total of fx. So you get 60 plus 17 plus 88 plus 270 plus 96 plus 185 plus 84. You'll get the total frequency of 800. Help me and calculate it using your table. Add them using your calculator, not the table. Use calculator and add the FX. You'll get 800. In this table, I didn't include the CB, which is the class boundaries, but I have included the cumulative frequency. What is cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency here that you're seeing, CF, it is cumulative frequency. You keep adding to, you keep telling or adding the frequency as you move. So you pick 5, and 5 plus 1, you get 6. 6 plus 4, you get 10. 10 plus 10, you get 20. 20 plus 3, you get 23. And then 28, uh, 23 plus 5, you get 28. And 28 plus 2, you get 30. So cumulative frequency means you keep adding frequency to one another up to the last one. I repeat, it is a 5, the starting frequency is 5, uh, 5, but because the next frequency is 1, uh, 1 plus 5 you get 6, and then uh, 6 plus 4, uh, 6 plus 4 you get 10, 10 plus 10 you get 20, 20 plus 3 you get 23, 23 plus 5 you get 28 and 28 plus 2 you get 30 that is our cumulative uh, frequency so let us answer the question about mean um, mean is total of fx divided by the total of f remember our fx is 800 the total of fx is 800 and the total of f is 30 and dividing 800 by 30 you get 26.67 to 2 decimal places. Let us look at at mod as given by the formula. It is LM plus T1 of uh, T1 plus D2 times C. So the model class, you start with the model class. If you're going to be getting the mod, you must begin with the model class. And the model class is the class with the highest frequency. If you look at this table here, the class with the highest frequency is 25 to 29. It has a frequency of 10. Others are having lower. The others that we have, we have 10 to 14, which has 5. 15 to 19, which has 1. 24, which has 4. Uh, 25 to 29 is the one with the highest frequency because it has the frequency of 10. And that is our model class. Model class is the class with the highest frequency. Here we have a frequency of so our model class is 25 to 29. So the 
some students confuse the model class with the model frequency. The model frequency here is 10 and the model class is 25 to 29. So let us go back to uh, our mod. So the mod, the formula is Lm plus D1 over D1 plus D2 times C. Remember I said D1, uh, D1 here means the highest frequency minus the frequency just above it. So let us see uh, the Lm first. The LM here is the lower class boundary of the model class. I said if there's no decimal point, you remove 0 0.5. So when we remove 0 0.5 from the lower class limit, we get the lower class boundary of the model class. And that will be 24.5. Now, remember that we said D1 also is the highest frequency minus the frequency just above. We take you back uh, to our table. We want to get D1 and D2. So our D1 will be 10 minus 4 because this is the highest frequency and the frequency just above it is 4. Our D2 will be 10 minus 3 because uh, 3 is the frequency just above the highest frequency. So D1 will be 10 minus 6 minus 4 which is 6 and D2 will be 10 minus 3 which is 7 uh, which is 7. So we have D1, 10 minus 4 is 6, and uh, is 6 here, and then D2 is 10 minus 3, which is 7. C is the class width of the model class. Help me again count the class width of the model class. Just count from 25, 29, and we shall have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let's count again. 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, I hope you have got 5 like me. So all you need to do is to substitute the values you have got into the formula that is Lm plus D1 over D1 plus D2 times C. And when we substitute back, we shall have 24.5 plus 6, which is D1 over 6 plus 7, which is D2 times C. And our C is 5. Uh, that will give us 26.8. One. It will give us 26.81. Calculate the palace. So let's go to the median. The median is given by n over 2, which is the total frequency over 2. Remember, the total frequency is 30. Then Ln is the Ln is the lower class boundary of the median class. Cfb is the cumulative frequency before the median class and fm is the frequency of the median class c is the class width of the median class so how do you get the median class because everything here is referred to the median class they are all referring to the median class in this uh, calculation of median so let us uh, i think we should also take you back to the table if necessary so n over 2 will be total frequency divided by 2 and our total frequency divided by 2 will be 15 because total frequency is 30 and when you divide by 2 you get 15. Remember it is this total frequency divided by 2 that will help us get the median class. How? Let me take you to the table uh, how we can use n over 2 to get the median class. n over 2 we have seen it is this total frequency divided by 2 that is 15. So you go to the column of cumulative frequency and you see where 15 falls or where 15 lies. So let us see. Uh, 15 is still greater than 5. 15 is still more than 6. 15 is still more than 10. But 15 falls in 20. So you fall along that 20. You fall along that 20 uh, up to when you get the class. So the class here is 25 to 29 that class is called the median class let us go back to our calculation for median so we have seen that the median class using n over 2 is 25 to 29 remember you must get n over 2 you go to the column where there is cumulative frequency and then you follow and see where n over 2 falls if it is false in for example, this one falls in 20. You follow the 20 up to when you see the class. That class is called 
the median class. LM is the lower class boundary of the median class. Now that we have the median class, the lower class boundary is simple to get. Just remove 0 0.5 from uh, the lower class limit. That will give you 24.5. Then FM is the frequency of the median class. Uh, frequency of the median class, I will take you back again. The median class, we said it is 25 to 29, so the frequency is also 10. The frequency is also 10. So the frequency of the median class is also 10, just like the mod. By coincidence, they are the same. So the frequency of the median class we have seen is also 10. Cumulative frequency before the median class. Cumulative frequency before the median class here is that uh, we have the cumulative frequency but must be before a median class so we go this one is not before uh, it should be just before so it is 10 the cumulative frequency just before the median class is 10 because the median class is here this is here but the cumulative frequency before is here so it is 10 and the uh, frequency of the median class we said is already 10 it's already 10 And the class width of the median class, we already counted, is 5. So you just substitute back your answers, and that will give you 24.5 plus 15, which is n over 2 minus cumulative frequency before median class, that is 10, over frequency of median class, that is 10, times the 5. And that will give us 24.5 plus 25 over, uh, 25 over 10, because 15 minus... Uh, 10 is 5, and 5 times this 5, you get 25 dividing by 10. The answer here will give us 27. Simplify more that more of that using your calculator. Let's go to another example, number 2. Number 2 is saying that the table below shows the amount of money in thousands spent by 50 students in the single term of glory secondary school. Uh, do you have the amount? we have the number of students so we have the class here this time is presented using the amount then the frequency is the uh, is also represented here using the number of students so the number of students uh, and the amount of money they spent those who spent between 10 to 19 are 10 uh, those who spent the amount between 29 they are 2 39 are 7 49 there uh, it is 1 50 to 59 there are 4 60 to 69 there are 16 7 to 79 they are 10 so the question here is saying that we state the model class remember the model class is the class with the highest frequency and if you are there what is it here what is our cl model class here when you think for me I'm seeing the model class is here because it has a frequency of 16 it is 60 to 69. Uh, what about the mean, mod, and median? Let us see how we can see how we can find the mean, mod, and median. Our model class, we have already stated, this class with the uh, highest frequency. The model class is 60 to 69. It is the class with the highest frequency. It has a frequency of 16 compared to any other uh, class. Let us see how we can determine the mean, mod, and median. You must draw a table, as I said. The table which has class mark X, uh, which has frequency, which has FX and CF, which is the cumulative uh, frequency, just like I said, to get the class mark of the classes. Remember, the class here is presented using the amount. So we add and divide this by 2, add this class, up, upper min plus lower, divide by 2. Uh, lower plus upper divided by 2, lower plus upper divided by 2. Or the simple trick you can do is pick any class, subtract them, and divide by 2. For example, 29 minus 20, you divide by 2. Uh, 20 to 29 minus 20, divide by 2. Let us see. So when you get 29, when you get 29, minus 20 you get 9 when you divide by 2 you get uh, 4.5 so this 4.5 you can add the 4.5 to all the lower class limits so we have 
uh, 14.5, and 74.5 that will be your class. Um, what about F which is a frequency it was then the table so you just write them 10, 2, 7, 1, 4, 16 and 10. What about FX? FX you need a calculator to do this. You need a calculator to do this so that you multiply F uh, times X you get FX. Then 10 times 14.5 you get 145. 2 times 24.5 you get 49, 7 times 34.5 you get 241.5, 1 times 44.5 you get 44.5, 4 times 54.5 you get uh, 218, 16 times 64.5 you get 1032, 10 times 74.5 you get 745, that is the FX, don't also forget to add them to get the total frequency or the summation of uh, fx total frequency times the class map. So you have 45 plus 49 plus 241.5 plus 44.5 plus 218.5 plus, uh, plus, plus 1032 plus 745. That will give me 2475. Cumulative frequency. How did we get our cumulative frequency? You add, cumulative, uh, you add frequency as you move. So you have 10, and 10 plus 2 you get 12, 12 plus 7 you get uh, 19, 19 plus 1 you get 20, 20 plus 4 you get 24, 24 plus 16 you get 40, and 40 plus 10 you get 50. This is called cumulative frequency. So you have 10, 12, 19, 20, 24, 40, and 50. Let us answer mean. Remember the total of mean is the total of fx is 2475 so we are going to divide by 50 to get our mean that will give us uh, 49.5 let's look at how we can get mod mod is given by lm plus d1 over d1 plus d2 times c we said that uh, lm is the lower class boundary of the model class and the model class it is 60 to 69 because it is a class with the highest frequency and that will give us 59.5 because it simply removes 0 0.5 from this lower class limit it if it has one zero decimal if it has zero decimal place or zero decimal uh, point what about d1 uh, d1 is 16 minus 4 and d2 is 16 minus 10 uh, let me take you D1, it is 16, highest frequency minus frequency just above, so it is 16 minus 4, that is 12, and D2 is the highest frequency minus frequency below, that is 16 minus 10, so we get 6. Class width of uh, the model class will be counting, we are going to be counting from 60 to 69, so we have 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, uh, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, I hope you have gotten 10. So you simply substitute your values into the formula given. We have LM which is 59.5, then plus D1 that is 12, uh, plus 12 plus, over 12 plus 6 times 10. And that will give us 24.5 plus 120 because 12 times this 12 times 10, you get 120. You divide by... 12 plus 6, that is 18. So our mod will be 66.16672 to four decimal places. Let us finally look at the median. The median is LM. That is lower class boundary of the median class plus N over 2. What was our N? It was 50. So we divide by 2. It is going to be 25. Minus cumulative frequency before the median class over frequency of the median class times the C, which is the class width of the median class. Remember here, how we do we get the median class? Go back to the table and use N over 2, which is the 50. So when you use 50 here, and uh, we shall have 50 divided by 2, that will be uh, 25. So you follow along the cumulative frequency. Uh, 25 is still more than 10. 25 is still more than 12. 25 is more than 19. 25 is still more than 20, 25 is more than 24, but 25 falls in 40. It 
cost is less than 40. So it is false in 40. So you follow along. It will be 60 to 69. That is our median uh, class. The cumulative frequency before the median class then is going to be 24. So let us go back. Uh, we shall have now 59.5 uh, frequency of the median class is 16, just like frequency of the model class. Then uh, cumulative frequency before uh, the median class is 24. So when we substitute, it's around 59.5 plus 25 minus 24 over 16 times 10. And that will give, will give us 59.5 plus uh, 25 minus 25 minus 24. Uh, so it will give us uh, 25 minus 24 will give us an 1 and 1 times 10 is the same as 10 over 16. That will give us 60.125. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.